According to the USDA and the Maryland Department of Agriculture, bird flu has been discovered in Maryland. Here at Fisherman's Park in Harford County, more than 100 black vultures, like the ones you see grazing in the grass back there, were found dead at this park. Over on Maryland's eastern shore, poultry farmers are feeling the effects as well. After an outbreak of bird flu in Delaware in February, there is now evidence the disease has made its way to Maryland, most likely spreading through migratory birds and poultry. Vultures, migratory waterfowl, and poultry uh, seem to be uh, the, the, the species that um, are, are carriers for the disease. Steve Connolly, deputy director for the Maryland Department of Agriculture, said since March, poultry farmers on Maryland's eastern shore have noticed sick birds. Right now, bird flu is in 35 states and has infected more than 38 million birds. It's scary because um, the number one priority for us is our bird collection safety. The Maryland Zoo in Baltimore became concerned when more than 100 black vultures were found dead from the disease near Fisherman's Park near the Conowingo Dam. Constellation, which runs the park, closed a number of trails to the public to curb the spread. Zoo officials for the first time are enacting bird flu protocols. So we're trying to keep any of the wild birds away from the collection birds. So you'll notice that some of the exhibits have empty pools or they have shade cloth or limited access or even, you know, in the case of our penguin exhibit, no access. Um, we're just going exhibit to exhibit and just trying to assess what the risks are. According to the CDC, it's rare for humans to contract bird flu, but it can happen. But some promising news on the horizon, the Department of Agriculture says a majority of migratory birds have already flown north and warmer weather could make things better. That as the temperatures warm up for prolonged periods of warmer, hot weather, that that will help decrease the, the viral load that's out in the, in the wild birds. And for the latest data from both the USDA and the Maryland Department of Agriculture concerning bird flu, we've got some links on our website, WBALTV.com, and on our mobile app. At Fisherman's Park in Darlington, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.